the Utah Tech Department of Dental Hygiene is thrilled to be receiving an endowment by Brad and Samantha Blake in honor of their father, Dr. J. Blake. Dr. J. Blake was instrumental in the beginning stages of the dental hygiene program at Utah Tech University. Dr. Blake was a Dixie High School and a Dixie College graduate. He later attended Northwestern University to get his dental degree and returned to St. George to begin his practice of dentistry. He practiced 28 years and volunteered eight years of his time as adjunct in the dental hygiene program in the early stages of its inception. He was an excellent father and a great support to me and his family throughout his entire life. I would describe him as a bit of a, a, a renaissance man. He could, he could do almost anything uh, from, from carpentry to dentistry and, uh, and he worked uh, a lot with, with the local community in service um, as well as a, he was, he was a, a colonel in the military. He was a great example to me. Of, of service to his family, his community, and his country. My dad was a pedodontist, and he always thought I should be a dental hygienist. He told me that from the time I was young. Uh, it took me a little longer than most to figure out which direction I actually wanted to go. And once my two sister-in-laws had come through this program, I knew it was a stellar program, and I wanted to be stellar too. So I, I signed up and I, I joined the family business. I don't know if everybody knows, but the, the dental hygiene program here is is, is typically and, and quite often nationally ranked as one of the best programs in the country. I had the opportunity to be a patient in the dental hygiene program for two of my sisters, as well as with my wife, Samantha, and observed firsthand the quality of the education they received, uh, both both within the clinic as well as, as their, their coursework in their classes. Uh, Andrea Parkinson was one of my favorite teachers and she is now one of my favorite co-workers. Everything she taught me has now been something that I've internalized and I'm passing on again and I'm still learning from her today. It takes a lot of preparation to be a dental hygienist and, and it's a very competitive program and here at Utah Tech they have one of the best programs in the country. I think my favorite part about teaching at Utah Tech Dental Hygiene School are the people. Both the students and the faculty, the staff, they're phenomenal humans. There's a caliber of, of people here that really strive for excellence in all that they do. They encourage each other, they build each other up, and it's such a positive atmosphere here. We decided to um to start the endowment and, and wanted to make sure that it was um, something that would be perpetual, something that was lasting. Creating an endowment that will pay out a scholarship for perpetuity is a way to carry on his legacy of service. My husband and I really wanted to do something uh, before for Jay Blake. Um, he was an amazing dad for me um, and he was a great model of service and love. We thought it was a way that we could give back to both the students um, because they're excellent students and mostly you know we've been very blessed and we know that a lot of the blessings that we have come from the people who were before us. I think just uh, continuing the, the program here is, is a great way to honor him. He was a large part of the success in the program because he, he volunteered. He, he didn't take a salary. Um, that this, was, this was things that, that he wanted to do. He wanted to, to create a lasting legacy here. It's amazing. I can't, I can't do this without being a little emotional, but I remember um, coming in the first time into the dental hygiene. Um, at that time, the, the dental hygiene clinic, and and it was in the old aviation uh, building in uh, at, at Dixie State. And looking to the left, and um, there was my my dad's chair, one of his um, one of his office chairs sitting there as a decoration. And um, to see how amazing this facility is. Um, boy, they've come a long way.
We really want this to help students. The cost of education is becoming so high. Um, we don't want people to not excel in their chosen field because, because of finances. And if there's something that we can do to help to make that a little easier, then we want to be there. It is our hope that others will be inspired by Brad and Samantha Blake to contribute to the Dental Hygiene Scholarship Fund. It is our goal to decrease financial barriers to education.